What's up, party people? Uh, a couple days ago, I saw Argo for the second time, and I loved it. Uh, I thought it was excellent. Uh, definitely a highlight of the year. Um, I, uh, I don't really know if I have any new thoughts about it. I definitely appreciated it uh, more the second time, uh, you know, knowing what's going to happen. Uh, I felt that I understood the characters a bit more, uh, understood the situation a bit more. Um, it's, uh, it's about, uh, wow, uh, <laughs> it's about a secret CIA mission to rescue uh, hostages uh, in Iran during the Iran hostage crisis. Uh, they use uh, Hollywood to produce a fake movie, and this uh, lets the hostages that have been hiding in uh, not the U.S. Embassy, but the uh, Canadian Ambassador's House, and it lets them pretend that they are Canadian film crew and can be uh, let out of the country uh, with false documentation. Um, so that's, in a nutshell, that's what the backdrop is about. Uh, it seems to be about a lot. Uh, directed by Ben Affleck. Um, I, I can't tell you who wrote it. Uh, it was produced by Ben Affleck and George Clooney. Um, it was very political. You know, I, I kind of noticed the uh, political undertones a lot more uh, this time about... Uh, well, just commentary, basically, on our current situation and really just kind of war uh, and um, international politics, uh, really, uh, about how, well, kind of unchanging it is uh, and difficult it is um, and how... It's all about perspective, you know, I think. Uh, perspective was, was big here. Um, I, all the acting was phenomenal. It has uh, Ben Affleck. I kind of wish that um, Ben Affleck would have given the part to someone else so he could focus on directing. Um, you know, that's just me. Uh, I think it would, you know... Even though both are both jobs are fine, his directing and acting, I think if you just focus on one, I think it makes it better. Uh, but anyway, very well directed, uh, very well shot. Um, you know, it, this is a period piece, and it definitely took me to that time. Uh, you know, with the makeup, the hair, the wardrobe, the set dressing, just even the filters on the camera uh, made it you know seem authentic, uh, along with. Um, what, Zero Dark Thirty, and, uh, oh, what's the other one? Uh, Lincoln. Um, this serves as kind of what live as breathing history, you know, uh, living history. It seems like a historical document, uh, something that important, uh, happened, and, um, here it is preserved. Um, so it, uh, I definitely appreciate it on that level you know, having it so perfectly capture a story that uh, we wouldn't otherwise know. Um, going back to that retro feel, even the opening credits, uh, the uh, studio logos, uh, the fonts are all old school. Um, you know, it opened uh, with the Warner Brothers logo that I haven't seen in forever. I almost even kind of forgot about it. Uh, and it's about Hollywood, too. I really appreciate that. Um, you know, you get to see some of the inside dealings with getting a movie started, at least. not Maybe not made, but with, uh, you know, the appearance of a film. Um, stars Ben Affleck, uh, John Goodman, uh, who is excellent, uh, Alan Arkin, who is excellent, um, a lot of people are in this movie, and I'm not going to be able to name them all. Lots of familiar faces. I know the dad from uh, Friday Night Lights is in there. I'm not sure of his name. 
Uh, Brian Cranston is in there. Uh, hmm, who else pops out? There's, again, a lot of familiar faces. Uh, all the acting is, is really good. I, I have no problems giving this film a 9. I don't know if I've said that yet. I, I think it, uh, you know, the last probably 40 minutes, I leaned forward, like, on the edge of my seat and stayed that way for, like, again, the last 40 minutes of the film. So it really just builds up uh, to this tense... And it's not even a confrontation. It's it's getting through airport security, you know. But going through each step of airport security it just becomes, you know, maddening. Uh, and and again, I sat forward in anticipation uh, and nervousness for basically the last forty minutes of the film, uh, and I think that's quite an accomplishment. Uh, I don't really know what else to say. I mean, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I, I think it's a highlight of the year. Definitely deserving of the attention it's been getting. Um, you know, it, it felt real. It had a, uh, an important message. Uh, you know, it, it made me feel a certain amount of pride, uh, hope uh, for the human race. Um, Yeah, I mean, really, I, I don't know what else to say other than, you know, I really enjoyed it. I, I, you know, I can only find things to nitpick about movies that I don't necessarily care for, so uh, I really enjoyed this movie. I don't know where it's going to fall. I think I would probably put it in my top 10 or top 15. Uh, we'll see. But, uh, yeah, I'm not... I'm not really sure. I've, I'm pretty much done. I think it's a solid nine. Uh, well acted, very well directed. Uh, just a, a immersive experience. Um, I mean, it really takes you there, uh, and uh, again, it grabs you, it manipulates you. Uh, so I think that that's uh, very skillful as well. Um, so I don't really know what else to say. Other than I love the film Argo, and I'm giving it a solid 9. Thank you very much.